Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So as y'all can see, there's a whole lot of stuff behind me, but in today's video, there's going to be a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. So this is, this video is probably going to be for like this whole week sort of vlogging. Y'all, I have moved into my new room. We got to talk about that. I did not do a move-in video just because moving day was just a whole lot, a whole lot of, nor did I did an empty dorm tour because moving day was a whole lot, a whole lot of, I couldn't buy my phone, a whole lot, but y'all will get an empty dorm tour when I move out. But basically we're going to be moving in this week. And we have RA training this week. So I'm just going to be showing y'all a little bit of that. If you are interested in being an RA, this is sort of kind of like how it's going to be. So let me show y'all my room because it looks a hot mess. But let me just show y'all real quick. Okay, so this is my room right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a whole lot going on. Um, I don't know if I'm using this video as video that I took last night. But basically, there is stuff literally everywhere around my room basically my room is not done um like it was just a lot going on i think we didn't take into account when i was moving in yesterday that i don't know if y'all knew from the other videos that i've posted but i've stayed on campus over the summer i did visit home a good amount of times but all my stuff was still here on campus i never actually moved out so i don't think we took into account the fact that we had to move me completely out of one room and completely into another room so it was just a whole lot a whole lot to do in one day so basically we just got everything in here and some of the stuff we did set up yesterday like my curtains and my bed and all that sort of stuff but i still have to put basically everything into like its place with like the drawers and everything like that so that's what i'm gonna be doing but there's gonna be a lot going on this week like i said with this move in and all that and with ra training so i'm just taking y'all through all of that and yeah i do have a different room like i said i didn't move out and my room is a little bit smaller so i'm not really sure how i'm going to be setting everything up but of course y'all will see that in a room tour at some point in time so let me stop procrastinating because y'all also in this vlog i did take three summer classes i don't know why i do this to myself after i hated it last summer but i'm taking three summer classes and finals are this week as well so my first final i think is wednesday and my last final is sunday so there's just gonna be a whole lot going on in this video i'm gonna be taking y'all through all of that and yeah so let me like i said stop procrastinating because i do have work due tonight and i gotta start putting more of this stuff up so i will see y'all when i see y'all okay y'all so it's been a hot second since I've talked to y'all. So last time I talked to y'all, I think it was Monday. It is now Wednesday. I'm sitting on the floor of my room. If this doesn't already give you the vibe of what this clip is about to be about. But basically, it's been a long time since I've talked to y'all because I've just been really busy. And training, RA training has been a lot. So I'm sorry I haven't showed y'all a lot. But honestly, y'all haven't missed much. A lot of training so far has just been like a lot of talking and just going over like policies, rules, and regulations. That's gonna change for every different school and it's gonna evolve as the years go on. So it wasn't really important to show y'all. But when I get into all the cool and creative and fun stuff, then you'll definitely see that. But I just want to come on here to check in with y'all because I haven't talked to y'all earlier, but y'all today has just been like probably like probably one of the worst days that I've had since being in college. Like if I really had to be completely honest with y'all, which is why I want to come on here because I want to be really authentic and just give y'all the truth of really what's going on so basically as i told y'all earlier in one of my other videos i'm sorry for the lighting it's just gonna be bad because i'm not in the mood to get up right now um but as i told y'all before in one of my other videos at the beginning of the summer classes i basically decided to take three summer classes all fashion merchandising classes because that's my minor that i added on because i thought it'd be cool and interesting to learn about fashion and how to work with different fabrics stuff like that because I want to go into entrepreneurship and I believe that would be that would be something that you need to know at some point in time so that's why I did it and I didn't think it would be too too hard clearly I was mistaken um, but yeah these are the three first classes that I'm taking for for my fashion merchandising minor um, and honestly I did not have a plan to take summer classes I did not want to take summer classes because last year I did the same thing and I took four summer classes and it was really kicking my butt and like 
fortunately I did good in those classes but I really like dealt with testing anxiety for the first time I was just all over the place I felt like I couldn't do anything I felt like I just I did not feel the best taking summer class and people usually know me as somebody who usually has like high spirits and all that sort of stuff somebody who like things don't really get me down I really try to think on the positive side of everything so today's happening we're in training blah 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 I get my calendar notifications because I know that I had two finals that were that were supposed to be done today whatever so I'm in training trying to keep myself up to be completely honest because I was tired um so I'm on my phone and I'm looking through sorry but I'm looking through like the dates and the times for all my tests that I have coming up so then I saw that like my test said that okay to do tomorrow so I'm like well I've never heard of a final that you have two days to do usually finals you only have one full day to do whatever so I was looking at that blah blah, blah. I saw that I had two classes because I thought it was a different class that I was taking the second test for today but it was whatever I just didn't know it was that class that I take tests for today not an issue though I still take two finals um so then I knew or I thought I had another final on Sunday so I go and I check that class I check all three of my classes and I look at this class and this is the class that I thought I had the test today for no this is the class that I thought I had the test on Sunday for but I check this class and I see that the quiz for the final because final quiz is already uploaded it says that it was due the day that was yesterday so I'm like I'm checking my thing because I'm like wait I thought it's supposed to be due on Sunday check it again and I'm like no this can't be right this can't be right because I put everything in my calendar at the beginning of the school year I'm anybody that knows me knows that knows that I'm a very organized person that's one thing about me I'm that person that goes into stores and tries to organize things when I don't even work there it's an issue um but so I'm like no this can't be right I'm gonna email the teacher because this is not fair this isn't right blah 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 so I go and I check the syllabus syllabus says updated so I'm like okay maybe they changed the syllabus whatever so I checked the syllabus again syllabus also confirms that the final was supposed to be yesterday I'm like oh my gosh now I'm like now I'm like fully tuning out whatever they're saying in training and my drum sitting in like the second row of folks and I'm completely tuning these folks out on my phone trying to figure out what in the world is going on I check my calendar again and I see because I usually just copy and paste things to my calendar so I check the name or the title on the thing for the final lo and behold I put it on the wrong day and yes it was supposed to be yesterday so now I'm just like what in the world like I really just missed the whole final like and I've been doing really good in this class like I've gotten A's and everything else in this class but this is one of those classes that only have two tests so basically like if you fail or you miss one that's it like that's your grade so I walk out the room at that point because and this is like the first session y'all so I walk out the room. I was out the room for about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes at the most. Because, like, honestly, one, I just didn't know how it'd be for me to either just sit in front of the presenters on my phone or for me to just walk out and handle what I had to handle because I couldn't, like... In high school, I used to be the perfectionist person with grades, but now when I got into college, I'm not as perfectionist. I'm just here to get my degree sort of thing. But I know that if I if I fail these things it's kind of like tainting my transcript tainting my GPA just in case I do decide to do anything after this so then I I called my dad because I didn't know what to do so I called my dad and y'all I'm over here like my voice is cracking I really feel like crying because I feel like yo like at least if I tried because like I have gotten like a worse grade in a class before not at UGA but in dual enrollment and I was okay with that why because at least I tried and I'm sitting over here like I'm really finna fail this class that I didn't even like I didn't even get the chance to show my work you know so whatever my dad's like oh just email the teacher let them know your situation I'm like yo that doesn't mean nothing because at the beginning of the school year this teacher was really strict in their syllabus so I'm just like it doesn't mean nothing they're not gonna let me t take the final it's stupid what's the point in me doing this and I'm really supposed to be in training right now so I really shouldn't be out here doing all this anyway Whatever, he says, he says, send the email. So I make an email, I write it up, I type it up. I send it to him to look at it because I usually just like another person to proofread my stuff before I send it just in case I miss anything. And he's like, okay, yeah, it's good. I send it to the teacher and the TA. I CC the TA on there. The TA um, 
emails me back and they say that they're gonna let me take the test for today but then take off 25 points so basically the test is only a hundred points so basically either way it goes the best even if I get everything right the highest I get is 75 but whatever I still decide to take the test so basically that's how my day started and yeah like it's my day has been good it's just like for that to be the first thing that happened for me to realize that yo how in the world did I just miss a whole test and I'm not the person to miss deadlines I'm never that type of person so it was just it was it was a lot it was definitely a lot but I just want to come on here and tell y'all if you are somebody who's in college as well don't be afraid of reaching out and contacting your teachers because I'm not saying every teacher is going to do this and I'm not saying every teacher is going to understand and listen and I'm really talking for a long time right now I've been talking forever but I just felt that it would be nice to talk to y'all about this because a lot of folks don't talk about their pitfalls and things that don't happen well in college but I just want to let y'all know, especially with this being something that I thought was easy. So this is also another thing. Give the same effort to everything. Just because you think it easy, just because you think it may be easy, doesn't mean that you shouldn't give it your full time, attention, and effort. Um, because honestly, this was also a class that I didn't read in. But I didn't read because I did good and everything else. But whatever, whatever, whatever. I was just grateful that they still allowed me to take the test. Um I was rushing to do it because like our training is not no joke like this stuff be all day which like, I got understand but like when I also have so many finals so basically I'm going to be taking all my finals in the span of today and tomorrow so I did that final um and I was still doing it in one of our RA training meetings as well because I just had to get it out the way and then when I left one of the meetings I started this other final that I just finished before I got on with y'all and then it's late right now like it's not late but it's 10 o'clock and i need to eat and I need to take a shower and I need to get ready for tomorrow because i gotta wake back up early again but i'm gonna take my last final tomorrow and i'm more hopeful for that one because that final is um i'm not saying it's one of my easier classes the but the test is proctored it's like it's not proctored it's on the lockdown browser but we are still able to use our textbook and our notes and everything like that. So I'm not as worried about that one. And that one, also we get two chances on it. So we get to do it one time and then it shows us all the questions that we got wrong. And then the second time we take it, we'll be able to, we only have to do the questions that we got wrong. So I'm more hopeful for that one and hopefully the week ends off better because no y'all, did I say it's Wednesday? It's definitely not Wednesday, it's Thursday now. See, the days are, Hoochalay. But yeah, so that's what's been going on in my life. Just a whole lot, a whole lot of, um, yeah. But the day is getting better. Like, I'm going to get okay grades in these classes. I just, it's just crazy how, like, the classes that I thought were going to be the easiest are going to be the classes that, like, bring my GPA down. But it's whatever. At least I know that last, the final that I take tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna get an A in that class because I've been getting like A's and everything and I've been getting extra credit in like almost every single assignment as well. So I'm very like, I'm not concerned about that class at all as long as like, you know, I take the final. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I'm say. Just reach out to your professors. I'm not saying that they will all be nice, but just communicate with them and stay on top of the deadlines I'm not saying you gotta like be early because i'm still like a procrastinator but still knowing your deadlines helps you do things on time so you don't miss assignments it's better to work on assignments at the last minute than to turn in assignments late or then to not turn them in or do them at all like me um but yeah it's getting better for sure and I have some other RA things that I want to talk to y'all about. But I don't want to do too much talking. Because like I said, I've been talking just on this clip for a hot second. And I would rather show y'all than tell y'all. But basically, I've been working on my bulletin board. I have made the idea and I really like it. I saw it on Pinterest. And I just flipped it and did like added my own customization and stuff like that. To be more specific for UG. I'm sorry if I haven't been looking at y'all the entire time. I'm like doing a different thing with the camera where like I could see myself as compared to just looking at y'all whatever but um 
yeah, whenever I start working on like actually, actually putting my bulletin board up and stuff like that, then I'll show y'all so you can really see it. Um, if we do anything that's like more interesting, more fun in trainings, I will show y'all and I'll probably show y'all the dining halls because, yes, y'all, your girl has been in the dining hall, it's been forever, it's been over a year since I've eaten i've eaten in the dining hall and i'm not gonna say i miss it but i definitely miss the convenience of like all the omelets like the omelets y'all i would eat an omelet every day omelet they kept the doctors away um and i'm just happy that i'm able to do that again this year um so that's been fun and then just getting to meet new people and talk to people because like it's harder for me to like get to know people or step outside of my shell which dog camp has helped me step out of my shell a little bit more so I'm really excited being able to like be around people and talk to people and get to know more people, build connections, all that sort of stuff with other people. So I've liked it. I've talked to more new people. Um, and yeah, let me stop talking to y'all. Like I said, tomorrow is Friday. I will definitely, definitely pull out the camera tomorrow because I don't know because I'm taking my final. But y'all will see me tomorrow for sure. So I see y'all tomorrow because like I said, I've been talking for way too long. So, good morning, good morning, y'all. It is now the next day. Kind of hear my morning voice. Um, but yeah, it's Friday, and I was checking with y'all before I went to um, RA training because we're gonna start off today better than yesterday was. I already know yesterday was a whole lot, so we're gonna start today off better. So, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit. So, this is what we're wearing today. I have the tie dye shirt on, some jeans, and these y'all don't on my floor. But these little off-brand tie-dye Crocs that I got from Walmart. Um, if you know me, you know I do not like Crocs. Crocs are ugly. But I bought these like the day before dog camp because I didn't realize that I might have gotten my shoes messed up during the shaving cream fight. So that's when I got them. And I, I mean, I spent the money on it. So clearly I was just like, I might as well keep it. Just like some throwaway shoes. But since our theme for training today is tie-dye, I'm going to wear it. But yeah, I just want to show y'all my outfit. Today we're supposed to be doing diversity and inclusion, talking and activities and things like that. And I have nine minutes to get downstairs. So I'm going to go do that. And I'll talk to y'all maybe when we go to lunch. I don't know. But I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I did not show y'all lunch. But I promise y'all. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. I'll take y'all into the dining hall tomorrow. I promise y'all. But it is now nine o'clock. I came to the room after training. I went through some of the quizzes for, okay. So y'all know I had my last final to take. So basically I went through some of the quizzes because the teacher for this class opened up all the quizzes before so we could see our right and wrong answers and stuff. So I just took the final. Just wanted to come on here to tell y'all that I got an A on the final. So I'm really excited about that. It's really helped me feel better after yesterday and the mess that I was. But basically I'm really happy about that. So. You already know, like, I don't know if I'm the only person, but like when you're done with the class or like a big assignment or something, you just get to X out all the browsers. You get to take all the textbooks and binders and stuff back home. I'm so excited for it because literally it's all over my desk right now. So it's nine o'clock. We have training tomorrow, but training isn't like as in depth. Like training is more of like do your bulletin board and um, then we're going to be going through rooms to do like checks and things like that. So... I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I'm not sure if I'm going to start putting up the decorations in my room or if I'm going to start working on these dances that I need to do for um, one of the exec positions that I have for an event coming up or if I need to clean because I really want to clean because I didn't really get to do a deep clean of the room before I got here either. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do or if I'm just going to go to sleep, honestly. But I'll let y'all know. But I'm really excited because, y'all, I told y'all we were starting today on a better note. And we have been doing really good. And I went to dining hall too. And it's just been really nice because like, you know, I used to go to dining hall all the time because I had the seven day unlimited plan. And one of the ladies, because I used to always get an omelet every single day. If you knew me, I always got an omelet every single day. And one of the ladies, she remembered me. She was like, I think I remember you. I think I've seen you before. And I was like, yes, I used to be in here all the time. And it's just so nice because like, you know, it's like a family here. They get to know you. And this lady, she's always like, hey, shake it, hey, baby, all that sort of stuff. Like, she's so nice. So just really exciting, babe, to see that. And just people remembering you, just putting a nice smile on my face. But yeah, so 
let me see what I'm finna do because I've just been wasting, wasting, wasting time and I really got responsibilities to get to. So let me do that and then I'll let y'all know what I do later. Hey y'all, hey y'all. So it is Friday night now. After I got off with y'all, I made some TikToks because y'all, I love me some TikTok. But when I'm in school, I just can't do it. So I rewarded myself after finishing those finals and all that to a TikTok. Just made myself feel better just to change the week around. But yeah, now it is Saturday night. It's Saturday night because today, you know, I went to get lunch, which was really my breakfast um, that they gave us or whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay. But yeah, I did that. And then after I did that, we came back and we had to do room inventory checks. So there wasn't really time that I could pick up the phone because, you know, or the camera because that's just... That would have just been a little bit of invasion of privacy because some students still do stay here but we just had to check in the rooms that people don't live in just to make sure nothing was damaged or anything like that so that was cool um yeah if i ever do like that again which i'll probably be doing either at the end of this semester or at the end of next year i can show y'all kind of what that's like um but yeah, you just go in check make sure everything is there but basically what i've been doing since i came back to the room after all of was cleaning so you can see there's nothing on the counter anymore i don't know if i ever showed y'all that but i've been cleaning i kind of want to step over here because i did just mop not too long ago and everything that's supposed to be in the kitchen right now and on the counters and stuff are over here so i have the mats the trash cans everything's over there but all that's gonna get put back soon same thing with the bathroom over here I'm not sure if y'all could hear but the fan in there is going as well because i just cleaned up everything in here everything over here just been cleaning up so yeah it's been nice because i got here and i usually do a really good deep clean before i move in but i haven't been able to do that just yet because my roommate moved in before i moved in and then like i said it was just a lot with having to move out of one room move into another room it was a whole lot so i didn't really have a chance to actually deep deep clean so i'm happy that i got to do that now because now i feel more comfortable in the space and I don't feel like I'm like walking on eggshells or trying not to touch anything that's too dirty. The only thing that I didn't clean just yet was the switches and stuff, like the light switches. So I'm going to do that as I put the rest of this stuff back up. But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing today. Um, the only thing that I have on my list of things to work on for today is those dances that I told you I need to work on. I started doing a little bit of it while I was cleaning the carpet because I put that little powder on the carpet that you have to let sit for a little bit. So I think I'm gonna start working on getting those dances together, which of course I can't show you because of copyright reasons. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna work on for the rest of the night and then I'll check back in with y'all before the night is over. So yeah. Okay y'all, so I'm checking back in with y'all like I said. It is now after midnight. I'm just gonna show y'all I'm eating dinner. So I'm having a turkey burger and cauliflower right now. Pretty good. Um, and yeah, so since the last time I talked to y'all, I'm really proud of myself because I actually did the first part of the dance that I needed to do. So I have three songs in this mix and I worked on the first song and I'm fully done with it. So I'm so happy, so proud of myself because that's like the first one that I did. That I did, but I have to do the other two later on this week at some point in time. So, like I said, I'm just eating dinner, watching some YouTube. If you probably hear something in the back, let me actually turn it down. Um, but yeah, that's about all that I did. Oh, I took a shower too, and, and yeah. But y'all, I'm so sorry if this week was just like not a whole lot. Like I said, I had a lot going on. I had to move in. I had finals. I had art training. It was just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. So I'm just so sorry if I couldn't show y'all a whole lot. But next week, this next week of RA training, I will show y'all a little bit more. I will take y'all to the dining hall like I said I was going to. And I'll show y'all, like I'll actually be working on my bulletin board soon and all that sort of stuff. So you'll definitely be able to see more of what it is to be an RA and what it is to go through like RA training and stuff like that in this next vlog. But I don't want this one to be too long because there's already a whole lot in it. So if you want to see that next video, make sure you subscribe and the notification bell so you know when that next one comes out. And so you know when the rest of my videos come out from this school year because it's going to be a movie if everybody can act right.
with this stuff that's going on but i think it should be a really cool year and make sure you follow me on instagram at i'm still just so you can see behind the scenes i always post on there all the time and i'm able to talk to y'all way more often on there and remember that i love you all so 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 much and my name is sincerely Dre, and i'll see y'all in the next video bye